Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is the 16th of September, 2023, 5.30 exactly in the uh, p.m. And oh boy, I am stoked to share this video with you uh, about the resolution I got on something that's been bugging me for a while, uh, causing me difficulty. And more importantly, not just because it's causing causing me a, a hard time, but because apparently uh, a lot of other people um, also had questions about this issue. So I figure, you know, it's it's worth it to produce a video on this subject. So um, if you guys didn't already know, I am in the process of immigration petitioning uh, my wife to relocate from her uh, home country of Vietnam to America to here so we can uh, be physically together. Uh, and um, so I enlisted the service of uh, uh, immigration lawyer and he submitted the uh, the application uh, via mail. So for the, the spousal visa, there are two options to submit the application. One is uh, via mail, snail mail, or the other one being online. And this guy, he's old school, so he did it by mail. But let me share my screen with you here. Let me do this. It takes about uh, 10 seconds to share my screen. So just bear with me. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so you can see my screen. And uh, let me sh let me show you uh, what I'm talking about here. So uh, the, the NOA one, the Notice of Action one, let me do this. It's this one here. And this was actually um, very pleasing news um, when I got this. It, it took um, about two weeks after he, he mailed in the application. So this is the form I-797C. And remember that? Those characters, because it's going to come up again. Okay. And I just want to... Just let you know that I'm, <clears throat> I'm, <clears throat> what do you call it? Um, I'm currently um, being afflicted by, by <clears throat> some allergies. I don't know to what, but uh, just bear with me, okay? So the uh, this original notice here, uh, it has the um, the case type, the I-130. Uh, this is the petition for alien relative, alien relative being my wife. Uh, there's a receipt number. I have that redacted. It's obvious. I, don't want, <laughs> I don't want that to uh, go out into the public domain. There's a receive date, uh, the notice date. I think these are the same date. My uh, USCIS alien number because I'm an immig I, uh, I'm an immigrant uh, citizen. I'm not a U.S. born citizen. There's a priority date. The pr the classification is the. Um, Spouse of United States citizens because I am a United States citizen, so that's what the USC stands for. It's not the University of Southern California. Uh, my date of birth, uh, this is my address, and then down here is the information on my beneficiary, my wife, uh, her name, her date of birth, her country of birth, which uh, is Vietnam. <clears throat> I don't know why I have that redacted and I didn't need to because I just shared that she's from Vietnam. Yeah, so I received this, and then I also received this email about an online access code. Oh, no, not this one. Um, this is the wrong one. Uh, let me, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. So this is the email I received. And uh, initially, I was suspicious of this email because, uh, because of who it's addressed to. It says, Dear Sir, Madam. Uh, throws up a red flag because usually uh, that's the start of a phishing scam. But uh, I contacted my immigration uh, lawyer and he said, no, this is this email is legit. It's not a scam. So uh, I followed the instructions uh, to create an account. And then I got I got uh, uh, stuck on step three, where it says online access code. So to open up an account with uh, US, USCIS, it's very trivial and, and very straightforward. It took me. I don't know, maybe less than five minutes. 
uh, to set up an account. Now, the account is useless unless you have a case because you can have an account and no case. That's that's there's there's nothing to do. There's nothing to to monitor or our, our status to uh, to to see the updates of. So uh, okay, so I, I had my account and then I hit I hit a roadblock. Okay, because uh, let me share with you this here because this is what I came up against. Okay, so <clears throat> when you have your account, it's the the website prompts you to um, or when you have an account, uh, something you can do is add a, a case. And when you try to add a case, it <clears throat> the the system prompts you for an online access code. Now, if you recall, let's return. Let's return back to this here. The NOA one. Notice how there's no online access code, right? There's a notice type, there's a case type, there's a USCIS alien number, there's a page, there's date of birth. No online access code. So I was stuck. I reached out to, uh, there's this Facebook group. It's called the CR1, IR1. I reached out to some of the other members on the, the group and some of them suggested that because my lawyer submitted the application uh, via mail and not on online that's why um i'm not eligible for an online access code so i'm just i'm just stuck with uh <laughs> receiving uh notices in the uh the mail and I, I can't open a case online uh i wasn't satisfied with that i i <laughs> so uh i did some digging and this is what i did where is it yeah so this is if you create an account with uh, USCIS, USCIS stands for U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services. What you want to do is go to resources and ask about missing mail. Okay, do that. And what you want to do is do this case outside of did not receive notice by mail. You click on that and then you fill this, this part out here. You fill out everything in here. So it, Self-explanatory, I'm not going to go into the detail because the video is already going on like seven minutes. Ugh. Okay, once you do that, you're going to receive this here. USCIS will let you know that they received your request and they're looking into it. Now, I lost hope because I did this request back in June of this year and... I didn't actually receive any um, any notices until last week, which is uh, um, four months or was it three months? Three months after I submitted the request, so I had already lost hope, and so that's why it was uh, so re uh, rewarding when I received it. So there is hope once you do that. You're gonna get something like this. You actually, this is what you want. You want a notice again? It's the same form I seven nine seven C, but this one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. Okay, so this is what you want. You want to see a a, a notice with the online act. Uh, excuse me. Wow. Ah, oh. oh. you want to see a notice with the online access code. Once you have just this online access code, you are dandy. You take this online access code and you just create a case. But yeah, shoot. Yeah, so that's all you do. So uh, let me see if I have anything else I want to share. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So this is what you want. You want to get this and the way you get this is like I, what I show you. I'm going to, I think it's worth showing again. You, you do something, you do this part, which is easy. You go to resources, ask about missing mail, and then it takes you here. Um, no, it takes you here. And then you select did not receive notice by mail and you fill this up and then you wait three to four months. So, uh, what do you call it? You gotta, you gotta exercise patience. 
So once you, it's not, it's, they don't work very quickly. It's not instantaneous. It's not, you know, a week or even a month after submitting a request to receive an online access code. You have to, you have to patiently wait uh, a couple of months, but don't lose hope because it will, it will, it will arrive in your mailbox. Okay. And once you get the online access code, then yeah, there's really n nothing more. Um, I'm sorry. Um, everything after that is self-explanatory. Okay. Okay. I hope, uh, that helps you, um, with, uh, this issue that you may be, uh, having.